and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lux Timeline. It's going to be our last meme tier deck today. Uh, this is going to be another Concurrent Timelines deck. We had some earlier in the month, um, but let's try out another one. Concurrent Timelines is a spell that says for the rest of the game, the first time you play a follower each round, you get to basically manifest, you know, pick one of three followers to transform it into. So the new follower that you get, you don't get any of the play or summon abilities, but you do get them from the old uh, follower that you played. And so we're going to be combining that with like Mage Seekers, because you know, like this Mage Seeker Persuader, for example, if you've cast a six plus cost spell, you're granting it plus one plus one in Challenger. Well, you'll, you get to do that with the new two drop, whatever new two drop that you choose, you can give it plus one plus one in Challenger. Or the new two drop will have plus two plus two from the Mage Seeker in Scyther. You also have like Radiant Guardian that can give the new 5 drop Lifesteal and Tough or, um, you know, like that kind of stuff. And so uh, we're going to be uh, trying that out. You know, like Aloof Travelers is a really small body for a 2-3, but you just turn it into some other like good 4 size body and then you still get to Aloof Traveler. So it's pretty fun. So we're going to combine concurrent timelines with a bunch of 6 cost spells. We got Remembrance, we got Shock Blast, we got Unyielding Spirit, plus we have Pharaoh's Financier to create six plus cost spells, plus we have Vanguard Sergeant making four Demacias. And so the six plus cost spells will help, you know, will uh, help our Lux and will enable the Mage Seekers and everything like that. So let's get to it. Let's try it out. We're calling the deck Lux Timelines, our last of three viewer submitted decks today. Okay, we got Viego. Viego is really difficult to beat with other just kind of slow mid rangey type stuff like we have right here. So this one's gonna be tough. I could the sump treasures. I'm not sure about. I could kind of see keeping that shump, that sump treasures. I guess some treasures could maybe follow up the Vanguard Sergeant fairly well by like discarding the Fort Amasia that it creates. Um, let's take Hextech Transmogulator to get rid of a. I mean, I guess Unyielding Spirit could be good here in this matchup, but I'm thinking this could get rid of like their seven mana card, the follower that's great with Viego, the Hydrovine. So I'm guessing they have like a Vile Feast that they're willing to trade. And that's alright with me, because my card traded with two of theirs, but they get a 1-1 one, one left and I get a 6 mana spell in my hand. Discipline and steal. gonna let that happen. I'm gonna save the sharp sight to help protect Lux. Really hope no Viego, of course. Oh, there's Viego. We'll kill Viego. So that's good. And I can put could sharp sight. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to sharp sight. But I was gonna wait till next round, of course, so that we would have the uh, final spark actually be able to hit a unit, but you know now we're gonna have to just final spark their nexus. 
I'm glad that we can actually Final Spark Nexus this is now. Otherwise, that would have been a dead card. Yep. Alright, good healthy attack in for 12 that round. Dark Water Scourge. Huh. Do I want to block Mystic Shot my own 2 1 or just let it die and let them go to 13? I guess I just let it die and let them go to 13. Hold on! Justice will be served! Lights out. Another Ravenous Flock is unfortunate. What's the point of attacking here? They block with the 2-2. Two -two. I mean, I just go from 19 to 20. This might as well. Okay. So still have the Hextech Transmogulator. Just kind of felt that it was a little safer to save the Hextech Transmogulator than to use it for that Hydra Vine. Progress day or unyielding spirit? You know, unyielding spirit's pretty nice, but I I think we just drop. Yeah, I think we just drop three. So what do they have over there? They have like ruination, anything? No, they're just willing to pass. So let me attack for six. Down to eight. So if I play Progress Day, then I only have five minutes. So like, um, do I need to be worried about like I pl play Progress Day and then they, I don't know, start playing like Hydra Vines and stuff like that and just kind of go crazy because I spend a lot of my mana? Yeah, it does really feel like Ruination, doesn't it? You know, obviously I could have had Lux and then still Progress Day. Wow. Do I have 10 cards? Cool. I did not. The whole world will know my language. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Is there an eight? Everywhere I go, the light follows. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what's in their hand. Is their hand just like all like scorched earths? They can't play? So many years, so
kind of see what happens, I guess. You cannot stop me. Right, we're going to turn a Pharaoh's financier into a radiant guardian. Oh, yeah, no vengeance or anything. So this puts him down to two, but then I got the final spark in hand. And obviously we have this true shot barrage in hand also. They go down to one. Yeah, sharp sight might have been lethal, but I wanted to protect. I wanted to keep sharp sight in court in case they had you know like a vile feast or another uh, withering mist or another withering whale or anything like that. You know, and they would have killed the two two. So I wanted to just keep it as protection. I don't know. I guess I just attack. Yeah, they must have had like a lot of score shirts over there, but that was a weird I don't know, that was a weird hand. They must not have had a good hand at all. Timo Caitlin. Timo Caitlin usually likes facing decks with a high curve. We are a deck with a high curve. I kinda wanna keep everything. Sharp sight's good in this matchup. For blocking Teemo and everything. Shock Blast, obviously pretty good in this matchup. I like Sergeant as a blocker. I like the Inciter turning into a 6-6. Six -six. The thing that I, I'm weak against here is exactly you know, like round one Teemo getting us because I'm not going to have a blocker for a little bit. But That's how that goes. I wish that they had priority here on round three so they could play a Peddler and then I Shock Blast. But they get to play Peddler. But, you know, like, Peddler, Caitlyn, like, they're, those are three threes. Um, yeah, we attack. It's... It's enticing to not attack and just have them waste mana, but... We're supposed to attack. Time to attack. It's a good amount of damage. That will grow the Mage Seeker and Citra to be a 6 6 as well. So obviously we're gonna get a good amount of flash bomb traps and everything like that, but uh, we'll be able to kill the peddler. We're down to two mana left. I don't think we're gonna need the second Fortimacia. Me. Watch the 
that frostbite. So kind of risky. They're willing to go down to three. Still pretty risky going down to three. Radiant Guardian's very good against these flash bombs. We only have six puff caps. And you can see Radiant Guardian being good against the flash bombs. If we had Lux, Lux would have been taking some damage there. I was thinking this was uh, it's Sivir's champion spell that does like the you know five damage and stuff like that. It's a boomerang blade. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, I'm still just go and do that. Kills two things. Alright, Unhelpful Yoda with the deck support. We'll do that here in a little bit. We're again going to get the other Radiant Guardian next round, and we're going to have like double Concerted Strike with these double Radiant Guardians. It's so We should be able to keep our Nexus total pretty healthy. Ten mana. Like enough for double concerted strike. Wow, they did have elixir of iron. I don't think I'm too scared of more flash bomb traps, but I am scared of more puff caps. That's good. That means I don't have to play two concerned strikes. Just three cards left. They could play like a new Caitlyn. Um, okay. If they do that, then we have to like block Caitlyn and single combat away our blocker. Yeah, that's cool. We get to heal our Nexus with both of them, so we heal our Nexus for eight. I smell a rat. That's pretty cool.
All right, I think now we kill a sting officer. Like now we're at a healthy enough life total. I'm more worried about the flash bomb traps. Man, we have two options here. We can go for um, Lux plus Fortimacia, like six mana spell to go along with Lux, and kill them with Final Spark, right? Like, so that's that's an option. It's a good option. Or we could have a little bit more fun, and we could play concurrent timelines and then Cythria. Yeah, I'm all in for the fun play. I think I think Lux Fortimacia is like the best play of like trying to win. But let's have some fun. Double all allies power, health, and grant them challenger. Cool. Status hide. An expert is at work. Good. Alright, let's get oh, I guess that has regen, but this one has overwhelm. So this will just be a 6-6 six, six overwhelm. Alright, we'll go with the we'll go for the overwhelm. Try to finish the game. So I'm kind of splitting it between the two. Splitting it between fun. Oh, you don't have challenger and stuff? Oh, how about that? Alright, we challenge you. Challenge, challenge. Alright, so it doesn't give. So Sith, yeah, Sithria doesn't gain those things, so. Right, we'll see what kind of frostbite they have. We got troll chant. All right, so I should have just gone with like the ten ten regen, but oh well. That was still pretty fun. I feel good with having two, you know, two radiant guardians. Feel pretty good about this. No, my sharp sight. Shock Blast should do the trick. Don't those fools know I own this city? Um, all right. Shock Blast. Cool. So we got to play ten mana Cythria, and we got to win. GG's. And we're 2 0. Alright, we got Darkness Control. Final Sparks are important against Darkness Control. Like, so, like, all three of these are pretty good. The thing that we have to worry about is them having the 3 2 that attacks. Twisted Catalyzer. Attacking with Twisted Catalyzer right away. And that's possible that they do, but they do, oh well. Oh! Getting punished for keeping a timelines by getting another timelines. So yeah, that's the the one card, like, as long as they don't have Twisted Catalyzer, we're okay. Ooh, okay, now we even have a Mystic Shot for Catalyzer. But please don't have Catalyzer. Okay, see? Good. I can handle Conchologist. What wondrous discoveries are with Conchologist. All right, and this works out well where I can uh, save my six mana spell. I can still spend three mana this round. Um, I guess on license innovation. And Thorny Toad. I don't think we need our dragon allies to cost any less. Let's just pass. I'm probably a little scared to play Vagar, being that I have removal. Or not, or they're just not scared at all. <laughs> you know, either one.
Please work. No, they have the stress defense. So playing them together like this is better against stress defense because now it turns into a one-two. If I play it into, if I play them one after the other, I play the first one they let it resolve. I play the second one they stress defense, and then they have a one-four again. So now, since I played them at the same time, they do have a one-two. So shock blast could kill the one-two. Lord Vega, you cannot rush perfection. Alright, so we need to go a 4-4 four, four elusive, because they this is gonna get plus two plus two. We don't get any any of these abilities, so it's just 4-4 four, four, Elusive, or 6-5 Overwhelm. I'm going to go 4-4 four, four, Elusive. This does 3. They also can you know, play something that does 1. Okay. So no champion now. You're still just a 4-3 challenger, though. <laughs> it's hard to outgrind darkness when they just get to create removal spell after removal spell. We're gonna need, like, our aloof travelers. don't have anything that does anything. Sharp sign? I have 11 mana now. Fashion forward. My cards really don't do anything. Cards really don't do anything. Wish we got this summon ability, but Contain the arcane. guess we just get an eight eight. Eight eight, pretty big. So now their darknesses start doing four damage. I really want to concurrent timelines this. It's hard to have this be your first follower and also have something else die. It's hard to have both of those things be true. Yeah, we don't. All right, don't have too much of a shot. Walk the fabric, minions. No, this 
over. Mage Seeker Persuader, holding this to have something that can try to uh, kill a champion. Alright, let's get the last breath. You guide me. The elements bind the living and the dead. GG's. So having no card advantage against a deck that's just creating zero mana deal fours, you know, like they're just making final sparks with all of their cards. Basically we needed this part of their deck. We needed, you know, financiers and aloof travelers and that kind of stuff, and we had none of those. I kinda think we just keep all this though, but now we have a deck that's gonna be making us draw cards. And so putting more cards in our hand isn't great, but I do really like the Persuaders of, like, challenging their things. And then this, um... This Insider is going to be very large once we play a 6-cost spell. Alright, can we get, like, a 2-3? We'll take True Shot Barrage. Can we get a 2-3? No, no 2-3s. So, Sting Officer. This is a people I'm your man. Get them Flash Bomb Traps. Yeah. That was the problem. Could have taken War Chefs. But, felt like Sting Officer was kind of the best choice. Yeah, I feel the Rush does good against Darkness because it goes so big. You know, they have to, it really stretches their mini morphs. Blast. Okay, get a 2-3. It's an awesome day for progress. This would be a good round to play a 6 plus cost spell. Yep. But we don't have one. So I guess it's aloof, even though aloof means we draw a card, and that's like, aloof's good for them. Um, we'll go field musicians? Or I could just take a 3 4. Once we summon three other allies and draw one. I guess I don't even want to draw one, do I? Alright, we'll just take a 3 4. Yay, but our stuff did it. Okay, got rid of the mini morph. Hey, Petrick. We shall attack. Very good, love seeing that. That just sets up my shock blast. Perfect. Alright, so we can we get to concurrent timelines one of these, the Mage Seeker Insider or the Persuader. I kinda think I wanna do the Persuader. No, we'll do the Insider. Um I'll just take this big elusive. Give it plus two plus two, so it's a five seven elusive. So we can just play like a regular Persuader, it's just a three two challenger. It's not bad. 
I own this city. Get some life steal tough action going on. Just trying to help. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. All right, I guess the four five's the biggest. What is this? Whenever an ally dies, refill the spell mana. Sure, we'll do that. We have one less point of health, but we get to refill our spell mana sometimes. That's cool. Tough places breed tough people. True shot barrage. Pharaoh's financier being great again. And we're three and one with our Lux timeline stack. As long as our opponents aren't creating, like, you know, all sorts of free darkness and killing our stuff, we're winning. GG's. Hmm. Nautilus, Twisted Fate, Katarina. So don't know exactly what's going on here, but it's probably pretty sweet. I'm going to keep this hand. Aloof Traveler good against Nautilus. We have a round three, six mana spell. We have Mystic Shot that's just always an all-star. Lux is our champion, so, you know, just kind of keeping everything. Can't hide from me. Don't really want to waste my mana, so I'll just throw that thing out there. Bye-bye, Shipper Quarter. I'm just trying to help their Twisted Fate level up, you know? I'm being nice with my loose Loof Travelers. Just helping them level up. Helping them go deep. Alright, they put a couple treasures in the deck. The sun is shining. We should, too. For silver, I talk. For gold, I taste it. That is a cool card to protect Twisted Fate. Concurrent timelines. So we're gonna play this and still have six man available. That was a really good card to hit with that Remembrance, getting the Scout Attacker. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah, so they have to stun. And then we Final Spark. The only reason why I don't like attacking with the Lux there is, I mean, I guess they could have, like, Scorched Earth, Ravenous Flog, that kind of stuff, but I was thinking of, like, the Sea Monster. Didn't want to reduce the health of my Lux. That Sea Monster. And we're just turning it into a burn deck. We got, you know, a lot of... Nexus damage that we can do.
Turn into a Lux Burn deck. Blood and guts, golden glory. Sell into him. Okay, so they're gonna toss. Hit a treasure. Oh, it didn't hit a treasure. Do I have to? Yep. GG's. Cool little deck opponent was trying out, though. All right, finished meme tier day on a high with a four and a one with Lux Timelines. Got grounded out by Darkness Control, but ended up defeating everything else. The Timelines was really good with some of these cards, especially with the Mage Seekers, you know, like turning uh, them into different cards. It was pretty nice, and, you know, turning Radiant Guardian into a different card. So that was pretty cool, and there's you know, no other champions in the deck, just the Lux with the Timelines, and, you know, it was respectable. Good 4-1 uh, record for a meme tier deck, not too bad. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments about the deck, about Lux Timelines, how you liked it. Um, if you uh, think that any cards should be changed, anything like that, feel free to let us know. Um, but that's going to be it for this video. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.